Hey guys, so this is actually the first video I filmed in well over two and a half weeks. The video I uploaded yesterday was actually filmed like weeks and weeks ago. And I have to say, I was going to sit here and apologize for taking the break that I did off of YouTube and social media in general, but I'm not sorry for it. I definitely think I needed it and I feel like it's something that a lot of people should do here on YouTube. You get so engulfed in everything that social media is. You get so engulfed with the conversation and the drama obviously that happens here in the community. You get engulfed with everything and it gets to a point where you kind of lose touch with reality and everything going on in your life. And so because of that, I decided to take a break and now we're here. We're back. So yeah. By the way, if I sound sick, it's because I'm getting over what was a very gnarly cold. Over the weekend, my tonsils were also very, very swollen. It was a very bad weekend for me. It was terrible. So in today's video, I figured the number one thing you guys love here on my channel is when I have my chit chat spa night videos or spa day videos. So I figured we kick off my return to my channel after a two week hiatus with a spa day treatment because the number one thing that I'm dealing with right now is dehydration. I've been drinking so much water. You can see my lips are very, very dry. I don't understand why because I drink so much water anyways. But when you get sick, I guess your body is just, you need to put more water in it than you normally would. So I've been really trying to drink more Powerade, more Gatorade, tons more water. I drank an entire gallon and a half yesterday alone. Like it was insanity how much water I drank yesterday. But even even still, like my lips, they were a lot worse yesterday, so I think I did some good with drinking that much water, but they are still kind of dry. So we're gonna do a lip mask, we're gonna exfoliate my lips. So we're just gonna sit down and chit chat about the things that have happened because a lot has happened since I've been gone. And we're gonna just relax for a little while. So yeah, grab your masks and let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is obviously exfoliate my lips, try to get some of this dead, disgusting, dry ass skin off my lips. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. lip exfoliator exfoliator in the coconut scent, I guess? Ew! Like, that's disgusting. They look better though, they don't look as flaky. Thank God. I don't understand the people who are like, I love the lip exfoliators that you can eat because you can just lick them off your lips when you're done. That to me is the like exact moment of fucking ew because you're just licking up sugar. Yes, I understand it tastes good, but you're not only licking up sugar, you're licking up dead skin from your fucking body. Like, that's disgusting. Like, when Jeffree Star talks about that on his video about how good his lip exfoliators taste or his lip scrubs taste or whatever, they're so good you can eat them. Okay, but don't tell people that because all they're gonna do is exfoliate their lips and then lick the shit off along with the fucking dead skin they just scraped off using your scrub. Like, that's disgusting to me. Ugh, I, I'm, ugh. So for today's mask, I'm going to use the Hydrating Bubble Mask from e.l.f. The first time I used this, I was like, girl, why is this so fucking itchy? Because it's so itchy. And what it is, is it's the little bubbles that are like fizzing on your face, cleaning your face, and that's what makes it feel itchy. So I'm not going to do my entire face. I'm only going to do the bottom portion of it because you can see that's where the major problems are happening, like right here. So that's all I'm going to do for my face for today. So I'm going to pump what I'm going to use out. I'm going to grab my e.l.f mask tool we're gonna just apply this to the face so this morning uh, Dustin Daly and I were on Twitter having a little chit chat and we were kind of laughing at the fact that Rich Lux had uploaded this video that pretty much makes you think that he had an exclusive interview with Jeffree Star I'll put the screenshot of the thumbnail right here any person who sees that thumbnail would assume it was an interview between Rich Lux and Jeffrey, but it is not. It is an interview between Shane Dawson, a random female. I have no idea who she is. There's one other person who comes in a little bit later in the podcast named Brian, and then of course Jeffrey Star. I don't know if you guys know this, but this podcast is nothing new. This is a very old podcast. Shane and Jeffrey have of course done more recent videos together, but this podcast in particular was done and put up like 
maybe like a month or two ago, maybe even longer than that. Anybody who likes either Shade or Jeffrey, I'm pretty sure, has seen this podcast or listened to it. And they can tell you, like, it's old. It's nothing new. So, so I think my conspiracy, allegedly, I think he was being shady when he uploaded that video to his channel. I think he knew exactly what he was doing, especially after everything that Jeffrey and Jackie and Tati have gone through the past few weeks. It's kind of suspicious, the timeline, because obviously we all know what happened between Jackie and Jeffrey. We all know about what happened. I'm not gonna go back into that mess. And obviously Jeffrey put up his apology video and then Rich uploads this video, this podcast, I should say is what it is. And in this podcast, you hear Jeffrey call Kat Von I'm pretty sure a filthy whore. He indirectly talks about knowing a female who he went on a trip with recently who has not paid her taxes in three years. We all know now that that is Jackie Ida. I held off for as long as I could. I could not do it anymore. My face was itchy as shit. So I washed it off. My face does feel soft right here though. It feels so nice. But I think I will put a small layer of this on as well just because you guys know this is the mask I go to when I want to clear off blemishes and I have a few right here that definitely need to go away because I know money got time for that. So yeah, I really do feel like he knew what he was doing when he uploaded that podcast to his channel. I think he knew exactly what he was doing. The time frame is way too suspicious for me to think otherwise I mean it just it makes sense like I understand you don't like Jeffrey I get it yes obviously since this podcast Jeffrey has uploaded his apology video like I said and he does talk about how he has said some very fucked up things in the past and done some very shitty things himself that he does regret that he is sorry for he apologized for these things and you know what while we're on this subject let me just say something really quickly a lot of people watched my last video before I uploaded that review of the hair straightening brush thing. A lot of people watched it and I really feel like some people took it the wrong way or took what I said out of context and that could be my fault because I am somebody who has a very hard time getting to the point about things when I want to make a good point and I can sometimes like talk myself in a circle and then when I try to get back to the point I was trying to make originally I kind of take a detour and just get lost in a tangent and a rant like I'm doing right now. Nowhere in that video did I say that you absolutely had to accept Jeffrey's apology? Nowhere in the video did I say that I think he was innocent or did I say that I supported what he did? First of all, I, yes, I am a Latina. Yes, but I am not a person of color, so I don't deal with the same issues that people of color deal with. I'm not somebody who has to deal with people like Jeffrey who say shitty things like that or people like any racist person you know saying shitty things to people of color. I am not a person of color, so I don't go through those situations, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here trying to say that people of color are the only ones who deal with racism in this country. That is false. However, racism against people of color is the predominant issue we have in this country. As a Latina living somewhere like this where the population is predominantly Caucasian, they're all white. It's hard because there is a select group of people here in this town who are very blunt and blatant in their racism and they have no issue with it. And they are actually the people who made me quit my last job. Like I could not work there anymore because I talked to corporate, I talked to whoever I could to get these people banned from the store because they were making not only me uncomfortable, people who would come in the summers, they would be uncomfortable too because they'd be there in the morning, every morning for like an hour. And they would sit and talk about these really disgusting topics. But the number one thing they always had to put in there and just stab in there was at least like one or two racist comments about black people and Hispanics and it didn't matter who you were or where you were from if you weren't white you were a target and that's how they felt. Now, fortunately, not everyone in this town shares the same ideologies as these low-life scumbags, but for the most part, everyone just keeps their mouths shut and no one confronts them outside of me. And it gets to a point where when you are the only one fighting against somebody, it gets tiring. And I just got to a point where I was just done with it. If that store, if that branch wasn't going to deal with them or tell them to leave or ban them for the disgusting remarks, then I could no longer work for them. And it wasn't because they agreed with their points of view. It was just the fact that they would not 
make a stand against them and at least just be like listen if you're gonna be here you need to have some respect and of course they try to use the freedom of speech thing but I'm sorry in my opinion if what you're saying disrespects the existence of another person strictly because of where they're from their skin tone and has nothing to do with who they are as a person and their character and how they treat people or whatever the case may be then your freedom of speech argument is invalid because that's not something that freedom of speech should cover but unfortunately for whatever reason a lot of these people who make these racist disgusting comments that's the number one thing they go to is well I have freedom of speech if you don't like it then get the fuck out of my country no if you can't accept that this country is made up of literally every person you could think of from every race every religion every skin tone if you can't accept that and that is what our country is based off of then maybe this isn't the best place for you where we are literally a melting pot of every culture, every religion, every skin tone, doesn't matter who you are, where you came from, you're welcome here. And that is being threatened by this administration or this mockery of an administration in the presidency right now. However, I will go into that because that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> I went off on a tangent and I got us lost, I apologize for that, but the point I was ultimately trying to make was I do not agree with anything that Jeffrey said in the past. I am not a sympathizer, I am not someone who supports racism, I don't know where you guys got that from, but there were a few comments who were pretty much just reading me to filth, calling me a sympathizer, saying that I must agree with what he said in the past, that I must be a racist, and I'm just like, girl, how? But ultimately, I mean, what these people think of me or how they take things that I say in my videos is on them and it has nothing to do with me. I personally just felt like he was honest and he was genuine and that was that. But anyways, getting back to this Rich Lux bullshit, I really do think he had a motive and I really do think that I think he was hoping people would take it as Jeffrey not being a changed person because like I said, in the podcast he does say some very shitty things. And honestly, I mean, going back to what I said about him being honest in his apology video, I really do hope he does make an honest attempt at being a changed person when it comes to saying certain things about people because his comment about Kat Von D being a filthy whore or whatever he said about her, that was uncalled for. And I know some people, like we see in Mean Girls, they call each other whores or bitches or whatever. And in some friendships, I mean, I have friendships like that where I call my friend a fucking bitch or whatever and I'm just playing with her and she knows that and she plays back with me but these two aren't friends anymore. Kat and Jeffrey aren't friends. We all know this. It was a very public breakup as far as the friendship goes. The way he said it and how he said it as far as context it was obviously meant to be a stab, you know what I mean? So for me, I mean, I think it was very shady and very low of Rich to upload that video knowing that this whole thing just calmed down a little bit after the apology video went up or whatever. I think he was just trying to stir up some old shit. It's stale tea and quite frankly, it's nasty and no one is here for it. So uh, yeah moving on. So before we get into the next segment of this video, I'm going to first just put up these screenshots of everything I'm going to talk about, just so you guys have like a timeline to go off of while I talk about it, because I don't want to confuse you guys. So yeah, here they are. Let's talk about that first tweet where Sanders says, so she couldn't even get tagged on a photo and thinks Kim did it purposely. I can't LMAO hashtag pressed. What he's talking about is that I guess there was a huge group photo or something like that and Kim Kardashian did not directly tag Jackie in that picture. Now, Jackie had mentioned this, I'm pretty sure, in like a live stream on her channel, I think it was, or you know, I forgot what it was. She talks about not being tagged and she says that it wasn't anything serious. It was probably an accident. Nowhere does she say that she's upset about it, that she's pressed, that she's 
angry about it. It's not a big deal to her. So the fact that Sanders says this shit and thinks that it's actually true and posts about it, to me, only shows how fucking psychotic he is. Because he's literally, like I've said before in the past, he's literally making up bullshit just to have content to make himself look cool. So Jackie directly replies to that tweet and says, You must have selective hearing. While Kimye may have purposefully not tagged me, I clearly said it wasn't deep at all to me, but sure, go in. Now the reason why people were assuming it was on purpose is because I guess Jackie did not give Kim Kardashian's products the best review. But honestly, I don't see why that's a bad thing. If the product does not work, if it's not good, then it's not good. There's no reason why someone has to give the product a good review if you send it to them, you know what I mean? Just because it works for one person does not mean it's going to work for everybody else. And quite frankly, I watched her review of it and it really was not disrespectful at all. So then Sanders responds back to her, girl, you and your Twitter fingers needs to stop. Talk to me when you're able to confront someone face to face. So then he goes on to say, let me grab a beer and chill before I get on camera and tell everyone what really happened at KKW party with two teacups. Which basically is just him insinuating that he was there, that he was invited, which to me is hilarious because why the fuck would Kim Kardashian West waste a fucking invite to her ultra exclusive launch party for her products, for her new makeup line, on somebody who has nothing to do with fucking makeup? Not only that, why would she waste it on someone like Sanders Kennedy? Let's be real here. She wouldn't. The woman has taste and standards that he meets none of. And of course, no one was here for that tweet, so they all read him to filth. So happy to see that people see past his bullshit now. <laughs> Now because Sanders is forever trying to social climb and forever trying to put himself in situations where he is associated with all these bigger influencers, I'm assuming he said this next thing because he wasn't getting the reaction that he wanted to get from her. Jackie tweets, reading gossip blogs and believing it without checking the facts for yourself is pure laziness. Sanders quotes that tweet and says, popping off on Twitter at someone, then seeing them at a KKW party and not saying a damn word to them is pure cowardly. Ladies and gentlemen, this, if anything, was a great example of how unprofessional and dumb and immature this dude is. This launch party was attended by not only the press for every major, like, celebrity news station, especially like TMZ and things like that. There are brand owners here. There are fellow influencers here. PR people are there, obviously. So this is a very professional event. So Jackie not popping off on Jeffree Star was not her being cowardly. It was her being professional. And I mean, if you're gonna go after Jackie for not popping off this party, then why not turn to your best friend Jeffrey and say the same thing to him? Because he was there too. And he was just as guilty of popping off on Twitter as she she was so and listen I know you're trying to earn points for Jeffrey for being there on his behalf but listen I'm fairly certain that dude wants nothing to do with you I mean yeah whatever Jeffrey Star replied back to you a few times and you shared a few laughs a few giggles about snatching wigs a few times but let's not forget your humble beginnings shall we But this is the person you want to defend now, right, though? A tiger never loses its stripe, boo-boo. <sighs> Alright, guys, my face is clean. It feels good. It feels healthy. This blemish doesn't look half as bad as it did before I did the mask, which only proves how good that shit is. But that is all I have for you guys for today's spa day video. I wanted to make sure I made this a little bit longer of a video just to make up for the time that I've been gone. I know you guys like when these videos are a little bit longer when it talks about things like these. So I wanted to make sure I did that for you guys for today. But if you guys have any requests for future topics for future chit chat videos, leave those all down below as well as what you guys think about what was discussed in today's video. With that being said, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. By the way, I have become a lot more active on Twitter. I now have a Twitter that I'm fully committed to. So I'm going to put my name right here and I'll also have it linked down below for you guys. If you have a Twitter that you're on all the time and you're subscribed to my channel, you want to talk to me more often, add me on Twitter. I'm always on there now. We have conversations and talk about things, whatever. Add me on there and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.